So, so there are some topi here, and these are medium-sized animals, and they're actually quite gregarious. They live in quite large herds of about 15 to 20 animals, and uh, although sometimes you can see really large herds, um, sometimes up to hundreds of animals at a time. Their social structure is actually quite flexible. Um, there are some populations that don't move around a lot, so they're referred to as sedentary, and they um, usually will be in small herds that are led by a dominant male in the group. But during large, uh, during, sorry, during migratory periods, you'll have large numbers of animals that will group together, kind of indiscriminately. They'll just gather as a group. They're not um, related in any way, and they, they don't, doesn't seem to bother them. And when that, these large groups stop, even if they only stop for a few hours, then the males will establish temporary territories in the place that they stop. And then they'll, they'll start sort of shepherding the females into those territories. So they really don't, don't, don't let much time, don't waste much time going out and, and looking for potential mates. The adult males, um, this, the size of the territory that they hold can vary quite a bit. It can be as small as one to three hectares in southern Africa, but, um, but um, up to 400 hectares actually in Kruger National Park in South Africa. And the, the smaller territories are usually just the ones that they hold as temporary territories during the breeding season. The male will mark his personal territory with using things like urine or dung piles. He'll dig up the soil with his horns and he'll s smear secretions. They've got preorbital glands on their heads and they, they secrete um, a, some characteristic pheromones from those glands that kind of identify who they are. And that, that scent, they'll smear that on the ground, on the vegetation, to kind of, again, mark the territory as being theirs. And what you'll, you'll often see um, with rival males is that they, they will be competing, um, defending their territory and competing for mates. And they'll do this usually by sort of posturing, and they'll, have, they'll be kind of ritualistic sparring that they do with each other with their horns, which they'll crash their horns together and they'll, they'll lunge forward, um, often to their knees um, while they're sparring. And this, this is much more about the, the ritual. Um, they're not actually, th these sorts of contests won't usually end with one of them killing the other. Um, it's, it's more about, ab about the display, about establishing dominance over the other animal. And during the breeding season, a territorial bull can be readily recognized by an erect posture, and he'll hold his head high above his body. So this is, is sort of fairly common that during the breeding season, they sort of start setting themselves up to defend their territories.